Hi guys, I'm Victor Levitin, CEO at CrazyLister.com. In this short video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about eBay's upcoming ban of active content. We're going to cover five topics. What exactly is active content? Why has eBay decided to ban the use of active content? How can you tell if you have active content in your eBay listings? What are alternatives to active content? And what do you need to do? Let's go! So what exactly is active content? Active content is a general name for an assortment of technologies such as JavaScript, Flash, plugins and form actions, which sellers usually use for uh, enhancing their listings. Let me show you some examples. So here, for example, on this listing, we can see a search my store box, which is an active content element. Let's move on. On this listing, we can see a drop-down menu, which is again an active content feature. And on this one, we can see a scrolling gallery of my other items, which is again an active content feature. Now, it's important to understand that eBay is not against the features themselves. Rather, it's the technologies they use, such as JavaScript. And I will explain in a moment why. Why has eBay decided to ban the use of active content? Well, there are two main reasons for that. The first one is mobile optimization, and the second one is security. With more than 57% of eBay transactions being touched by mobile, mobile is huge for eBay. That's no secret. Now, let me show you how active content plays with uh, uh, mobile devices. To make a long story short, it does not play well. Let me show you how it works. So this is the sample listing we've just seen. And this is the same listing being viewed on a small device, in this case, an iPhone 6. So you can see that the active content element is completely useless. It's too small, it's not rendered correctly, and basically, again, useless. It also takes active content elements a long time to load on mobile devices. So it does not provide a smooth mobile shopping experience for your shoppers. Now, in terms of security, removing active content from eBay actually increases the security on the marketplace. Those of you who have been on eBay for uh, quite some time now, probably remember the security breach of 2014. It has roots in active content. Okay, so how can you tell if you have active content in your eBay listings? Let me show you. eBay provides us with a testing tool to check your listings for both mobile compatibility and the existence of active content. This is the tool, and I will share the link here below the video. In order to use the tool, you need to provide the eBay item number. Now let me show you how can you find it. Going again to our listing here. And I hope this seller won't be offended by us. So here's the eBay item number, and this is the number that I need to copy. Then paste it here into the tool, and click Check Now. It will take a few moments and then we get the result. For this listing, we can see that it is not mobile compatible and we can see that it does use active content JavaScript, which we already discussed earlier. For comparison, here is how it looks for a compatible listing. You can see that it is mobile optimized and it has no active content. Now, the warning here about links is completely fine, don't worry. You can include links, however, your links need to comply with eBay's links policy. So, for example, you are not allowed, obviously, you are not allowed to link to an external page to complete the purchase of eBay. This is obviously against eBay's policies. Now that we understand what exactly is active content, Let's see what are alternatives to active content, or how can you create image galleries, tabs, and the rest of the features 
to be fully compliant with the active content policy. So there are actually two options here. If you are code savvy, IBE provides you with a tutorial on how to replace active content in IBE listings using HTML and CSS. So if you know HTML and CSS, IBE actually provides you with some examples here. And this is an example of how to create tabs using HTML and CSS, which are non-active content and are okay with eBay's policies. If you are not code savvy, you can use Crazy Lister. And everything you create in Crazy Lister, the image galleries, the tabs, and the rest of the features are already mobile optimized. Let me show you. They are mobile optimized and they are already active content compliant. And actually the test results I showed you earlier are exactly for the design I've just showed you from Crazy Lister. You can see it is mobile optimized and it contains no active content. So what do you need to do today? Whether you list directly to eBay or use a third party listing solution, you need to make sure that your listings are A, mobile optimized and B, compliant with eBay's active content policy. Starting in June 2017, eBay will ban the use of active content from listings. Now, if your listing solution is yet to answer these two requirements, you can actually use a crazy lister template inside your existing listing solution. Let me show you how. From within your crazy lister account, click on the gears wheel here, then integrations, select your listing solution. If it's not here, just let us know, we will edit. And once selected, any templates that you create in Crazy Lister can be copied to your listing solution. Remember, if you have any questions, click here on the question mark at the bottom right side. That's all, folks. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write them below this video. Take care. Cheers.